We are Group 9, the Management Mavericks, and our TV show is called Spotless Now. Since this is an online course and most of us have not met in person, I would like to take the time to introduce each member of our group. Julio is a leader of our group. He is a senior information systems management student at University of South Florida, St. Petersburg, and will be graduating this year. Julio loves to travel, loves all types of sports, and also enjoys learning about different cultures. Danielle is currently enrolled at USF St. Pete as a junior majoring in management. She is a hard worker and enjoys going on as many vacations as possible. Danielle has been to six different countries and cannot wait to explore more. Rita is majoring in finance at USF St. Pete. She is from Russia. In 2009, she came to the U.S. and decided to stay. Throughout her life, she has traveled a lot with her family. Rita visited most of the countries in Europe, Middle East, and some of Africa. She loves to study different cultures and discover new places. Her favorite sport is tennis. Mercedes is currently majoring in management at USF St. Pete as a sophomore. She is very dedicated when it comes to her work. She has been as far as Jamaica, but looks forward to traveling further. She also enjoys dancing in her free time with a group of individuals. Caleb is originally from Palm Beach, Florida, and is double majoring in music studies and health science with a concentration management. He enjoys singing and is an avid performer. His performing experience includes working for Busch Gardens Entertainment, and has recently sung the national anthem at a Tampa Bay Rays game. Our objectives. Our objectives were to create an interesting TV show about management which contains the use of topics from assigned readings of the text to form the ideas and concepts of each episode of the show. We were to use illustrations in any way to develop the show created by all group members. And most importantly, we were to have fun with it. We worked out this project as a group by sharing our ideas and different talents in order to achieve the best possible outcome. At the beginning of each week, our leader delegated different portions of each assignment to all the members so that we could equally contribute assignments we were delegated based on the skills of the members of each group. For instance, the members who were better at designing PowerPoint slides would be assigned with that task. When necessary, we met in the library as a group to complete the assignments. This was always a group effort. Each one of us suggested ideas regarding each of the, te of the characters' roles and the content of each episode. We identified important management concepts such as decision making, groups and teams, communication, leadership, and others, and incorporated all of them into our storyline. This TV show will target all types of public, mostly adults, who have been a part of the workplace and have dealt with irresponsible managers. The setting would be a place of business. It could be an office or the different locations where the employees may be performing their cleaning services. The relevant concepts in the show will be the lack of ethical and moral conduct of a manager, abuse of child labor laws, and infringing the law in general by embezzling and lack of social responsibility by the manager of the company. The storyline for our TV show would be the manager of the business, who is Becky, must choose someone on her staff to become head of the organization. However, she is having a tough time with her decision making as she struggles between two important factors in the hiring process, which include work ethic, resumes, and work experience. To her dismay, one of her candidates isn't telling the truth about his or her credentials. Becky's decision will be the critical affecting will be critical affecting the future of her company. Let's hope that Spotless Now Incorporated will not be wiped out.
Time to meet the characters. Becky is the owner and manager of Spotless Now, who is looking to retire, which means she needs someone to take over her business. Wanda is a 10-year employee. Michelle is a 5-year employee. And Alfred is a potential manager candidate seeking for work who lies about his management degrees and experience. Jessica is also applying for the same position as Alfred, but she has managerial experience without the degree. She is currently enrolled in school working on her degree. Steve and Lewis are underaged employees. In our first episode, we discuss the importance of decision making with a company. Being that the owner, Becky, is making an important decision on who will be the new manager of Spotless Now, it is important for her to make the right decision so her business does not fail. Unfortunately, people lie about major criteria needed for the position, which can cause the wrong decisions to be made. The Summary of Episode 1 Becky has to choose between two candidates, Alfred and Jessica. Jessica is honest, currently enrolled in school, and has managerial experience. Alfred states his, he has his degree, but is not honest. Becky does not know this. Based on the information provided, Becky chooses Alfred and his credentials not knowing the real truth. In episode 4, we brought attention to the importance of managerial ethics. If the wrong person is in charge and making unethical decisions, bad things could come of it. Since episode 1, Becky has chose Alfred over Jessica because she believes in Alfred's credentials. Since Alfred lied, he was already an unhonest person and sneaky with different intentions than running a business professionally. Summary of episode 4 Alfred begins stealing money from the company. Alfred is overworking two underage employees with little wages that he hired. Alfred is cruel and violating many laws through his scheme to embezzle money from the company by making these two boys sign off and work for very low wages. General Conclusions on Management As a group, we believe that great management is essential for any project to be executed efficiently regardless of the scale. Managerial skills are essential for each of us to be successful as a student as well as in our careers. Communication, decision making, time management, negotiation, planning, leadership, and all other aspects of management are all skills we need to apply in our lives and our careers in order to reach our goals. We believe that the concepts that we have learned in this course and the projects as well as the assignments we had to complete are a great way to learn how to better to be better managers. Working on this project has been a challenge that has taught us how much more efficient we can make things as a group as opposed to working individually. Using managerial skills like the ones above mentioned, we were all able to share our ideas, talents, and allocate our resources efficiently in order to create a show of great quality in a timely manner. Recommendations for future students. We believe that communication is key. All group members should get to know each other as much as possible and pick a leader who can who can get everyone on the same page, motivate and delegate the work accordingly so that the assignments can be completed accurately and in a timely manner. There are several tools where which you can use to complete the assignments. The use of technology can be great for projects, a lot easier and time and less time consuming. Using tools like smartphones to record videos and PowerPoints to create visual shows can be a great help. Also, using tools like Canvas, email, or Google Docs can be a great way of communicating with your team members. We also recommend that assignments are started early 
so that all group members have plenty of time to submit their portion prior to the deadlines. Thank you for taking time to watch our show. I hope you enjoyed.